Good morning from the Riviera. Um, lovely morning. It's a Sunday, 6th of November. Um, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I've got <coughs> to drive this thing back to the UK, which I'm really rather looking forward to. Um, so I'll just put the bags in. Well, it's not a bad boot, this thing. It's a pretty practical thing. Um, but that's not why we brought it down here. We've just been having a fantastic time over at Lamborghini, um, doing some filming with the best contashes. Um, <coughs> And today, it's just a matter of getting it back to the UK. And it just so happens, if we're going to set off from here, we're at uh, this is Cap Ferrat, a little uh, marina uh, just just outside Monaco. Um, best route back includes the uh, routes to Napoleon. So that's where we're going to head for the first stage of this journey. in the Quintash and uh, well, that's a workout, that really is a workout in this car. Um, done it in all sorts of things. Um, but it's uh, it's certainly got some grunt in this car. And you, you look at the bends, you're charging up, you know you can you can you know really make some speed up on the straights. And then it comes to stopping and if you're used to sort of GT3 levels of braking, you're in for a shock if you get in a car like this. You've got the brakes is a nice solid pedal, slightly further down I'd like. And then there's that sort of feeling, yeah, we are going to stop, aren't we? I mean, it, 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 you know, it's braking hard, you're not, you know, you're not sensing lockout, but you're putting a lot of force on that brake pedal, and then you're off again. But <laughs> I can't believe we're first week of November, and it's absolutely empty up here. If you ever want to do Route Napoleon, come, come first week of November, and if your weather's good, you've just got the place to yourself. Find a truck now or a coach. Oh, and there we are, one car. And goes that theory. Well, we've got to go. Yeah, I've got um, 570 miles to do and um, ten and a half hours of Tom Tom's telling me. <coughs> seen I'm sure familiar to many of you your eternal car park waiting for well, <coughs> well it says oh and I can't find a time on it I think it said in about an 
40 minutes time but that's not too bad Sunday night there aren't many uh, crossings so I suppose 40 minute wait isn't too bad um, that was from uh, fr from where we set off this morning I think that was around 700 750 miles or something like that it's taken what time is it now um, quarter to 10 that's about 12 hours. I suppose that's all right when you think we had Route Napoleon as a sort of aperitif in, in, at the start of it and then <clears throat> terrible weather coming into Grenoble, absolutely horrid, pouring of rain. Um, but as we dropped down to Lyon it wasn't too bad. Um, speedo broke on the way down, oh, how unfortunate eh? But, um, but I've just been keeping it at 4000 RPM as a sort of know that if you, if you manage to keep it under 100 miles an hour you can, and you've got a wad of euros with you, you can sort of get away with it. Once you go over 100 miles an hour they tend to like confiscating cars and it just makes getting home a bit awkward and uh, hard to explain to your wife why, why you're actually carless for a few days. Teach me not to pay attention to what time she says um, it's on final <coughs> final call. So um, no boots at all. Not even time for a pee. <sighs> Can't see any other contashes in the line. It's a bit unusual. any gendarmerie at all either on the way up. I should lie, I saw one motorbike but um, he was on a side road, on the side of the motorway. I did, they did breathalyse. I got stopped on the way into Capfrat last night and uh, got a breathalyse. scored a 0 0.00, which I was quite pleased about. I think he was a bit surprised. Basically you get on the train like this and then um, you just drive to Britain. It's quite an unusual idea. If the train never actually moves, you just carry on. This is the morning after uh, yesterday's great journey. And um, yeah, <coughs> it, was, it was a bit of an effort yesterday. I didn't realise quite how many miles I've done. As I said earlier, the speedo was broken. And uh, so I checked this morning. And yesterday was uh, 755 miles going from uh, Cap Ferrat up to Calais. And then there's another 202 miles to go from uh, Folkestone to my house here. And uh, so that was 960 miles in the Kuntash yesterday. Which is, yeah, it's, it's going some really. And I'll take you around the car and you can see how travel stained it is. But it's, this is. This is what a, <coughs> a Kuntash looks like when it's done that sort of mileage. The usual rubbish in the seat. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, a load of rubbish. Uh, every journey's the same. But I, actually, it didn't look too bad. Um, Till you go around the back, and uh, obviously, however many liters of um, fuel have been burnt, and it's it's all a little bit sooty. But then again, yeah, it's a lot of miles, and we actually did um, 270 miles. The um, just before, so I've done 1,250 miles in this car um, in just over 30 hours, and that's <coughs> previously that used to take um, a year. The previous owner was doing about 1,200 miles a year, something like that, and this car's done it in, as I say, 30 hours. It's been great. I feel pretty fresh. I was pretty tired last night, I have to admit. Um, it was a combination of being very tired and uh, flat um, camera uh, battery that we didn't actually do. A, a sort of final sign off but uh, can't quite say I want to do it all over again but it's a lovely thing to do